rounds. It could have gone either way. It could be that the judges favored the jab and the body punching of Jason Maloney. That is the great unknown here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm going to go ahead and give the fight to Jason Maloney. I did have, um, um, I was going to say Greer because you never know what Greer you, is going to show up. But Maloney, the tougher, more seasoned uh, uh, fighter of the uh, Brothers Maloney. Andrew is fighting later on tonight on top rank on uh, ESPN in the third trilogy fight against um, uh, Joshua Franco for that WBA bullshit world title. So I'm actually, after this fight, some highlights here, head over to Showtime and watch some of that. But realistically, I do want to see Arnold Barboza. My bad. Put up the monster right there. Arnold Barboza versus um, Antonio Moran. I'm T3 Controversy with FightV360.com. We cover every single major fight live and uncut. Uh, Joshua Greer, you know, okay fighter, but this just doesn't have it at world level. He can produce some exciting fights, you know, but overall, you know, listen, 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 boxing is tough. And I just don't see him having it at 118 pounds. Now, Jason Maloney, let's go look at him. Um, wait, I'm interested in hearing these cards, though. For real, for real, for real. Let's not miss that. We're live real time. Jason Maloney, 21 and 2 with 18 kills. Last fight against the monster, Inouye. Seventh round stoppage. Leonardo Biaz, Dixon Flores, good luck, Marma. I did cover this Manny Rodriguez fight in the World Boxing Super Series tournament in which Inouye won and met uh, Nonito Denair in the finals. Nonito Denair. Oh, wait, Mark Chinook. Let's listen to these cards. Here inside the Please subscribe. Take your time out. Like the video. Tulsa, Oklahoma. We go to the judges' scorecards for the official, the official decision. Henry, Henry Ellick scores, scores the bout 98-92. David Sutherland scores the bout 98-92. Karen Holderfield scores the bout 96-94. For your winner by unanimous decision, and now the new WBC silverweight, silver bantamweight champion, Jason Mayhem Maloney. I think Karen Holderfield with that 96-94 scorecard was more in line with what we saw in the ring tonight. Those 98-92 scorecards are a little wide for my, my taste. We saw two guys put everything that they had out there on display. And I thought that they both... We're going to get a uh, post-fight interview. So let's go look at the rankings here on my beautiful website, fightview360.com. Go look at the 118-pound rankings. By the way, the link's down below in the uh, description box. So solid win, comeback win for Jason Maloney right here. Now let's break down the champions. Donaire, WBC. And no yay, WBA Super and IBF. By the way, the WBA now just has one champion at 118 pounds. And it's looking like they may keep it that way. Because Guillermo Rigondeaux, in just a couple of hours, is taking on John Real Casimero for this WBO. And he, you can't unify that WBA world title. So he dropped it. And Rasheed Warren or Antonio Russell, I think Antonio Russell was supposed to fight for an interim, but it's no longer an interim. You know, this news is coming from uh, Boxing Scene's uh, Jake Donovan. This is the fight that's coming up next. Two fights where they just show Arnold Barboza. That's Nico Ali Walsh, who, who ESPN has been really given crazy, crazy publicity to, and, you know, because his grandfather's Muhammad Ali. So here is a quick breakdown of the 118-pound division. Donaire, hopefully, we're going to get Donaire versus Inouye later on this year or, or, you know, early 2022. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Now, platform issues, promotional issues, because Donaire was with Richard Schaefer, Ringstar, Inouye, top rank, you know, Bob Bam, Ringstar, top rank, you know, haven't worked together, from my understanding, ever. Uh, Carlos Baldoros is used to be a Ringstar, but now a top rank fighter. Uh, and as I said, Casimero's over on Showtime. He's going to be taking on um, Rigondeaux in just a few hours. So I have a better breakdown of the 118-pound division as a whole once all of these uh, fights are over. But what I will say 
is for Jason Maloney. See what he's doing. Liberio Solis, the guy who Rigandau fought. Um, maybe see how, if he can do, you know, what Inoye did to Michael Desmoranis. Ew, Joseph Rebecca, he's still out there kicking around. Ugh. Don't get me started on that. But anyway, I'm getting up out of here. On to the next fight. I'm T-Street Controversy with FightV360.com. Please subscribe.